Street Fighter is the biggest fighting game series in the world, and after countless iterations of 2008's Street Fighter 4, we finally have a brand new, current generation Street Fighter game. The first thing you notice when playing Street Fighter 5 is just how impressive the graphics and animations are. Never has a Hadouken looked this good. When Street Fighter 5 was first revealed, I thought that it looked pretty similar to 4, but wow was I wrong. When you're playing 5, you notice that this is actually a pretty significant step up. The character roster really hits the sweet spot for this type of fighting game. At 16 characters, there's not too few, but it's not so large that it's unbalanced or overwhelming. And Street Fighter V strikes the perfect balance of new characters to old characters. Series mainstays like Ryu, Ken and Chun-Li are joined by newcomers like Fang, Rashid and Laura. As always, there are also some great arenas to duke it out in, but at 10 stages, there's a pretty limited selection. Street Fighter V is very light on single player content. There's a story mode, where each character has their own story to play, but each character's story only has a couple of fights, so you blaze through it fast and there's barely any payoff. There's a more cinematic story being added down the line for free, but that doesn't help now. There's also not an arcade mode, which is a real letdown, as this is a staple in pretty much every fighting game. But there is a great survival mode. In this mode, you take on a series of enemies without your health ever automatically regenerating. However, you can purchase health, as well as numerous other boosts between fights, at the cost of sacrificing points. This means that you want to hold out as long as you can, otherwise you will run your score into the ground. Mechanically, Street Fighter V is the best entry in the long-running series. The fights are as fun to participate in as they are to watch, and if you get a good opponent, you can have some really great back and forth in matches, which makes you feel like you're never out of the match even if you're losing. Street Fighter V is incredibly easy to pick up, but like you'd expect, incredibly difficult to master. Street Fighter V also controls remarkably well. I mostly played using a fight stick, but the gameplay is great on a gamepad as well. I can't recommend this enough as a multiplayer game, that is if you're playing locally. Street Fighter V falls victim to something that's all too common, shitty servers. I had trouble getting into matches, got randomly kicked out of matches and experienced occasional lag and at one point I couldn't even log in to Street Fighter V's online component. Hopefully these server issues will be resolved soon, because when the game's so bare bones when it comes to single player, the online is crucial. When the online does work though, it's incredibly fun, and the crossplay between the PlayStation 4 and PC versions of the game is a great feature. I also appreciate that the DLC characters coming in the future can be paid for with real world money, or if you're willing to work for it, in-game currency. This is a nice way of rewarding the hardcore Street Fighter community. Street Fighter V has had a rocky launch with server issues and a lack of single player content, but it's impossible to not recommend this game when the gameplay is so mechanically sound. I'm giving Street Fighter V a 7, for now, but I will be revisiting Street Fighter V with a follow up video in a few months once some of these issues are hopefully resolved and I'm definitely not opposed to changing the final score if Capcom can improve Street Fighter V. Thank you for watching. And if you'd like to see more game reviews, make sure to like, subscribe and share.